Hey guys, we're going to uh, try a Forgotten Heroes. Forgotten Heroes, that's interesting. Where did that come from? We're trying hills. <laughs> and we're going to play pinned. And this might be one of the scenarios that we use for the tournament. I'm not sure. I'm just checking it out. It might be a little too long, a little too involved. There's quite a few forces. So there's nine units plus three leaders and a hero. And then on the uh, defensive side, the Argentinians have uh, six guys and... Uh, a leader and a medic and a chaplain and foxholes and we have off-board artillery which is neither here nor there it's not a big deal we do get a harrier strike which is freaking awesome look at that bad boy boom how much like have one of those dropping on you and the little pakaras there as well so that'll be fun and <coughs> excuse me this is the setup situation so we set up the Argentinians first, and the idea here is that the British need to uh, move forces off the map, and they get two VPs for each good order unit that gets off, basically. And the Argentinians receive VPs for uh, killing guys. Seems fair enough, right? So I've set up uh, fairly evenly across the board, as you will probably expect, with the 12 millimeter gun uh, anchoring the center. And that is, there's only a gun there and... Uh, a leader, the lieutenant, with uh, the blowpipe uh, in the center. And we have uh, kind of a little overweight on this side with uh, two squads, three squads, four squads. Yes, four squads. And the chaplain over here to do rallying. And there's uh, just two squads over on, uh, on this side here. And the reason for that is that this side here has a, a lot more cover so if there was to be an approach from this area I would probably need more forces to try and engage and then I put a bunker back here uh, with a sniper on top of it not in it but on top of it and that's got that rubble uh, rough terrain which is a great modifiers for defense so he's in a really good slot now for the British, what did we do? so we broke, there are nine uh, squads so we broke it up into uh, three teams and uh, stacks and two stacks in each team and we've got uh, we've gone heavy with uh, the MGs in uh, the two stack the two squad stack and the, the law is carried carried by uh, the third squad in the group so the plan would be that uh, Abnil and Captain Mercury with a very uh, uh, what's that guy's name uh, you know, that's obviously that's Freddie Mercury, right? If you take a good look at him. Uh, so Freddie Mercury and his gang are going to try and uh, we're going to try and break through here as quickly as we can. Uh, we're going to use uh, one of the squads here to put, try and put some suppressing fire down on this section to hinder reinforcement. And I'm going to keep this uh, group of squads or this little platoon of men uh, to advance this way if he does in fact uh, weaken this up so that's my that's my broad plan basically full charge ahead with uh, Harrier and uh, high explosive support uh, Adi support and the threat of a flanking maneuver with the hill and uh, where did that hero go oh the hero's over there anyway so that's the that's my rough plan so that's the story Gorgeous map, great counters. Uh, I really like the British counters. I like the colors of the counters. Uh, they've got some unique identifiers or unique attributes. You'll notice that, if I can zoom in here, you'll notice that it says D8. So when we're firing with these guys, we actually roll a, a 1D8 versus a 1D6, which is nice. Uh, and then they also have a melee bonus as well. I have to check that. Oh, you know what? Now I'm thinking maybe that is over for Malay. Would that be correct? Let's see. Yeah, it is. No, it's uh, no, it's not for Malay. It's it is it's just all all combat fire because they're such awesome marksmen. I'm sure that has nothing to do with grade inflation from whoever designed the module. All right, there we go.